And the fun continues. Get this. I actually fangirled out big time on this next <laughs> interview. Uh, so Nordstrom, right? They may have started here in Seattle, but it is beloved all over the world. Nordstrom is famous both for their shoe departments and their return policy. Yes, the tire story is true. The family has historically been very, very private, but a new podcast called The Nordy Pod, hosted by Nordstrom president Pete Nordstrom himself, is giving us a rare peek behind the retail curtain. Well, Pete, obviously you know that Nordstrom is such a beloved brand in the Pacific Northwest across the country, um, and it's gone through so many iterations. I just went through my closet alone and I found the individualist at Nordstrom. <laughs> I found Nordstrom's women's tailored clothing, and then my favorite robe I stole from my mother, Nordstrom's by, I believe that was Caprese. You know, well, the first thing that comes to mind is you got to come in and buy some new clothes because all those <laughs> labels are old. We obviously, oh, I mean, it's great that you have it, but you got to come and buy some new stuff. Well, believe me, I was shopping at Nordstrom yesterday, so there's no concern there. But I'm so excited to hear about this newest venture. Tell us about it. Well, you know, it, it kind of came up organically over the last couple of years that we could do a podcast. And I think it became a bit of a flavor of the month thing because it feels like everyone's doing it. But really, it was just in service of the idea that anything that we can do to create a better connection with customers is probably a good thing to do. So it, it's, it's really just an honest attempt to give people a view of who we are, what we do, why we do it. And um, we'll see about where that takes us. Welcome to episode one of the Nordy Pod. My name is Pete Nordstrom, and yes, I'm actually one of them. I get asked that all the time. Are you really one of those Nordstroms? Yes. I'm now, the first episode that's out now, um, I'm talking to Mickey Drexler, and Mickey, um, and at least in the retail world, is a pretty famous guy. I mean, he's the one that made Gap hugely, hugely successful in the in the 90s, and um uh, and then he went to J. Crew and had a lot of success there. So there's there's different people like that in our industry that I know. And so it's easy for me if I can have a conversation I've actually with someone I've actually met before and know. And then it's also maybe things that just have kind of a personal interest in, or there's customer opportunities to talk, uh, you know, to customers, which is is fun. Mm -hmm. um, and then we have so many interesting people that work here that have done so many great things. And really, I mean, the story of Nordstrom is told through our people. So Having that being uh, something we can highlight is great too. And that is a really good point. I've met so many wonderful people there. The customer service has always been about people, right? That's always been something important with your brand. Yeah, I mean, it's evolved a little bit because obviously you can have a touch point with a retailer, retailer like ours through online and what have you. So it's important though that we try to keep the quality of that interaction high. Um, but it is true when you talk to people about what they think about Nordstrom, it almost always comes back to a person, a salesperson. It's not that a lot of people know me or my brother or my cousin, but everyone knows someone that works at Nordstrom and has bought someone from them, from that person. And that's what gives people the impression of who we are and what we do. Absolutely. Uh, obviously, Nordstrom has an incredible history in the Pacific Northwest. I see some of the history right behind you in those shoes. What are some interesting facts and history about Nordstrom that you think would surprise people? Huh. Well, you know, one thing that comes to Not mind. Not to put you on the spot. No, it's okay. You know, one thing that comes to mind, have you ever heard about the tire story? Oh my God, I was going to ask you about this. Okay. All right, well, so here's what I can tell you. The tire story is true. <gasps> it is not. It's okay. True. Okay, so the background is, and this is how I know it, and I'll just share with the viewers. I had heard, and I thought this was folklore in Los Angeles, that someone brought a set of tires to Nordstrom, knowing that your policy was to take anything back and that you accepted them. That is true? It's true that we took back some tires. But I don't think the person knew that was our policy. I mean, it's a bit of a long story, but we had some stores up in Alaska that we bought from another company. And that company, before we bought them, they sold tires and general merchandise. And some customer had bought some tires from that store and came back six months later because they didn't work out or something. He says, I don't know what's going on in this store now, but I bought these tires here and I want my money back. And our person on the floor said, okay, how much you pay for them? We took them back. <laughs> 
Now, it is true, it did happen. I don't know if someone rolled some tires in here today, we would necessarily take it back. But at that time, in that moment, that was the right thing to do. And I mean, the amount of goodwill we've received from that story over the years, it's certainly been well worth the cost of returning those tires. What can people expect from the podcast and Nordstrom in the future? <laughs> well, I think you could expect that it's not going to be the slickest thing they ever heard because it's me. Um, doing it. <laughs> and, you know, I'm not a professional interviewer, or podcast host, you know, I've, my, my profession was selling shoes and then being in the retail business, but I've really become the vehicle, I think, just to tell the stories. And, um, and I think a big part of what our culture is about and kind of our brand ethos is built in those stories and those experiences. And it's, it's where we get the customer service ethic from, um, and just again, what, what happens in our business that's, I think, interesting to a lot of people, certainly yeah. is to us. Well, I can't wait to see more. I'm going to put my robe on. I know it's old, <laughs> but it's still in good well, looks condition. Good. <laughs> I love that robe. It's so warm. And I loved having that peek behind the retail curtain. We've linked the first episode on our website. You can find the Nordy Pod wherever you listen to your podcasts.